Hello Bakugan Brawlers and welcome to another Bakugan video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bakugan Bakutek Wind Deck. So I'm going to be going over the Bakugan review, the packaging, cards and also in the end I'll be doing a rollout for each one of these Bakugan. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first off, I'm going to be reviewing this huge package. As you guys know from the Bakutek series, all of the deck packaging is designed like this, a very big design with a big screen on the front which very nicely displays the Bakugan. And I just want to let you guys know that I got this back in June of 2017. At that time, Bakutek, Bakugan and Bakugan in general were really cheap. So it was easy to get this and in a good price, but now it's quite rare. So and this is the front of the packaging. As you can see, it displays windmill the main Bakugan in this deck. Two of the characters over here have their own Bakugan. This is Master Odor, who uses Windmill. And over here is Master Grizz, who uses Hagar Daguma. Over here, it dis displays each one of the Bakugan names. Over here, it shows that it's Wind Deck with the special symbol for it over here. BTD06. This is on the side of the packaging, which shows about the critical KO and battling stuff. And this is the other side of the packaging, which reveals the three Bakugan and their special uh, gimmick with them. And this is the back of the packaging, a lot of information over here. This side shows the special spinning uh, blade gimmick for Windmill. Over here is Hagar Daguma with the uh, snatching gimmick and over here is dagger or dos with a very good uh, defense and uh, occupy space bakugan and on this side it shows the cards that comes with it and some of the paper inf and information so as the paper battle arena i'm gonna be showing you this very shortly preview about the gold stage card and here is some of the list of the bakutek bakugan so the contents that comes within is the this is the soul part and obviously with most of with all of the sega toys bakugan it must come with the authentication sheet and this big piece of paper just shows you how to close each one of the bakugan and also it gives explanation about the ability cards and gate cards so some strategies over here and this is the other paper work that comes with it it shows a general general information about the gold stage and some uh, some rolling techniques and this side it gives you some information about how to brawl this is the gold stage card that comes with it and lastly this is the paper fold out arena which can be used during battle a very neat way to brawl if you do not own a bakutek arena so now on to the bakugan review i'll first be reviewing windmill so this is ventus windmill and um, it has a very nice uh, and silver and green design on the back with some gold colored on its uh, front of its forehead and these are the silver sole parts which are convertible pieces so you could change it with other type of material or just a different sole part in general and you guys can see that these are the blades that are a bit loose but it's meant to be that when you curve roll it it the blades are going to open so this is windmill opened and its manual parts are the two sole feet which are also convertible parts so you could just swap them out with other sole parts and when it's opened it reveals like a dragon type or a phoenix type bakugan with its wings a long neck and head and the blades which are popped out thanks to these protruding parts on each side and the feet and ventus windmill comes in 640 g's and to close windmill you just fold up the sole parts put the head down and the wings together they should go in together like this and close each one of these blades and there you go pretty simple to close next up i have here subterra hagger daguma the bear bakugan or grizzly bear bakugan and this is a subterra bakugan as you guys know, a lot of the Bakutek Bakugan, the Subterra colorings are not like you usually see, the tan or brown color. They mostly, most of the time, they come in different colors such as black or green. 
so this is the closed form as you can see there's a protruding part on its front and back the back is just the tail and the front is the button where if a bakugan hits the hands are gonna grab it and this is gonna be done only when it's opened so this is hagar daguma in its open form and the manual part is its two front feet and the back tail over here and hagar daguma has two a uh, cross part which are made out of plastic and it comes with this very nice design so it's very good for customizing with other bakugan its jaw is loose it has this special gimmick that if a bakugan would hit the stomach piece then it would grab the bakugan making it a very good defense type bakugan and subterra hugger daguma comes in 620 g's to close hugger daguma is very simple just fold up the manual part which are the two front feet and the tail put back his hand and then fold in the head and neck so as the front legs and both of its hands very simple also lastly it comes with darkest dagger or dos so darkest dagger or dos is a very unique type of dragon bakugan so this is its closed form with gold cross parts on both of its side with the golden horn and feet and some red stripes around its body with a purple gem you can say on its forehead so this is dagger dos in its open form and it has a few manual part which is the wing extensions you can say and also the two front large horns so this is a very unique type of bakugan as it can be both used for defensive type or even a critical ko type because this bakugan is pretty flat and it also takes a big chunk of the gate card space so it could stop your opponent from battling also with you and both of the wings come with this gold cross part which are made out of plastic also dagger dos comes with a printed g power of 620 g's so this from out of the three bakugan dagger dos is the hardest one to close it's quite complex for beginners so you would first fold up the manual parts and then over here you would fold up the tail and head the same time making it close like this then you would close the arm and front wing each side the same time same for the other side with all that done successfully then it comes the easy part close the back leg first then the front and do it for the other side as well there you go dagger dos in its closed form it's a bit more complex to close than the other two now onto the card, we'll first go with the gate card as it comes with three gate cards. The first is a silver gate card which has no rule and it features a nice picture of Sex Tavernel. And it gives a printed G power of 100 for Subterra, Darkest and Ventus. Darkest being the highlighted gate bonus and zero for Pyrus, Aquas and Chaos. And this is the wind deck symbol that is featured on each of the cards and also in the packaging. This is a gold ca gate card for the wind deck. And it says that each wind deck Bakugan printed G power will be set to 800. And the gate bonus is pretty similar as the silver 100 for Subterra, Darkest, and Ventus, Darkest being highlighted, 0 for Pyrus, Aquas, and Chaos. And the last gate card is a copper gate card which features a picture of Windmill and Shield Leonis battling with each other. The copper gate card, the rule says that the player who wins this gate card chooses one ability card from their opponent's unused pile and move it to their used pile. And the gate attribute bonus 100 for Subterra, Darkus, and Ventus. Again, Darkus being the highlighted. And this time 40 for Pyrus, Aquas, and Chaos. And now onto the ability card. This deck comes with six ability card, two blue, two green, and two red. First up with the blue ability, this is a generic G power add bonus, which gives 120 for Subterra, Darkus, and Ventus, and gives 80 for Pyrus, Aquas, and Chaos. And it features Sex Tavernel in its closed form the next blue ability card it's also a generic g power add bonus but this time it only gives 160 for subterra darkest and ventus 
and it features wind metal soul part. And now onto the green ability. This first green ability, it features a picture of windmill and ability cards around it. And this green ability card effect is that play after the battle is over with a Subterra, Ventus, or Darkest Bakugan. Choose one of your opponent's ability cards in their unused pile and move it to their used pile. The next green ability features a picture of all of the wind deck Bakugan and it says play during a battle with a wind deck Bakugan. Your opponent's printed G power is set to 500 Gs. And now onto the red ability. The first red ability features a picture of Dagrodos. It says play before you roll a Subterra, Ventus or Darkest Bakugan. If your Bakugan stand, you may force one of your opponent's closed Bakugan and battle with yours pretty much like a magnetic action card. And the other red ability features Windmill, and it says play before you roll a wind deck. You can shoot up to three times. However, if your Bakugan stands on the gate card, this effect will be invalid. Alright guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and share for more awesome Bakugan content. See you in the next Bakugan video.